so um today we're talking about totally disconnected spaces so in topological spaces we have connected spaces which we've already treated we have disconnected spaces and we also have totally disconnected spaces which we'll be treating today i am widow can we know and i'm going to take you through this lesson so let's look at some definitions so these three definitions are all definitions for totally disconnected spaces so you can take any one of them so a topological space x is totally disconnected if the connected components in x are the one point sets or the singleton sets or we can also define a totally disconnected space as a space in which all the subsets with more than one element are disconnected you realize that this is just like the first one but this is the opposite of the first one then the third definition is that topological space x is said to be totally disconnected if for each pair of points x y in a certain big set topological space x we can form a disconnection that's a set a b of x such that small x is an element of a and small y is an element of b so don't worry here okay? i know the definition is a bit um confusing i will illustrate that one with examples very soon so because the theorems will also help us use and understand the definition that's why i want us to go through the properties and the theorems so the properties and theorems every discrete space is totally disconnected and we also see every totally disconnected space is a closed off space and this is because all one point sets are closed and the third one is that the components of a totally disconnected space are eight singleton sets so we'll be going through the definition very soon the examples of totally disconnected spaces we have the discrete spaces rational numbers irrational numbers counter sets and the counter spaces so now let's find out why we see the discrete space is totally disconnected so if you could remember we said that for a totally disconnected spaces one of the theorem is that all the single points are closed and you know in topological spaces let us have a quick revision we are talking about a closed set so we said a topological space when i'm talking about a closed set we said a set a is closed in a topological space if x minus a is open that means can find a topological space style so for instance when we have a topological space we have our x to be let's say a b c and we have tau to be pi x a b and a b so you realize that with this topological space for instance we can see bc is closed and the reason we can say bc is closed is that when you take the full set x minus r bc it will give us a and you realize that a is found in our topological space so when this condition is satisfied then we say our topological space is closed so let's look at what we are doing so with what we are doing um where is my pdf all right so we are trying to find out the reason why the discrete space is totally disconnected but remember that there is a theorem here which states that every totally disconnected space is a host of space and this is because all one point sets are closed and you also realize that we said every discrete space is totally disconnected so we are explaining why so you realize that when you have this, when you take the three point set S equals A, B, C, if you take this topological space tau equals phi x, A, B, and C, we know that for a topological space, these two sets should always be members of it, even though that we don't have a topological space. And when you take our singleton um, sets, you realize that all the singleton sets should be closed. So that means when you take A, B, its corresponding open set should be bc because if it is closed if a is closed that means s minus a which is equal to bc should be found as topological space when you take b 
b should be closed so that means x minus b which is equal to ac should be found here so that's why we have this one here and when you take c she should also be closed because it is one point set and all the one point sets are closed so that means x minus c which is equal to ab should be found in a topological space so you realize that in trying to make sure that our singleton sets are all closed you realize that it will lead to these three subsets of x being a member of the topological space and when we try to look at all the members here, realize that they are all subsets of x equals a, b, c, which is the discrete topology. So that's the reason why all discrete topology, all discrete space are totally disconnected. All right. So here we can see that every single thing set is closed, as I said. So you can see that you remember when you're talking about um, disconnected spaces. Let's take a small revision. I like to revise my students a lot. So, when talk about disconnected spaces, we say the topological space is disconnected if we have two open sets, which let's say U and V are open sets, which are disjoint. So that means their intersection is equal to the empty set, and whose union is X. So when we have this condition being met, then we see our topological space is disconnected. So from the definition of um, totally disconnected spaces, you realize that with that one, we have more than two pair giving us our disconnectedness. So it makes it totally disconnected. So for instance, if you look at our set A, we can name our set A to be A, B, C. And you realize that A, B, C is from our topological space. So you realize that this set A alone make our topological space disconnected. This B alone makes it disconnected because the intersection of these two is equal to the empty set and the union of these two is equal to X. This C alone also makes our set what disconnected. So you realize that because those sets here, because A is a set, B is a set, C is a set, which are making our topological space disconnected are more than one, then we can see that A, B, C form a disconnection of X. So since A, B, C form a disconnection of S, then we say that our discrete space is totally disconnected. So do you now see how we get it? The yeah, total disconnected spaces. So thank you. That's it for the total disconnected spaces. It's very simple.